Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our today's saint is Saint Bernadette Subiahu, also known as Saint Bernadette of Lourdes. Saint Bernadette was born in Lourdes in France on January 7, 1844. Her parents were very poor and she was the first of nine children. She was baptized at Saint Pierre, the local parish church, on January 9. As a toddler, Bernadette contracted cholera and suffered extreme asthma. Unfortunately, she lived the rest of her life in poor health. On Thursday, February 11, 1858, 14-year-old Bernadette was sent with her younger sister and a friend to gather firewood when a very beautiful lady appeared to her above a rose bush in a grotto called Massa Biella. The women wore blue and white and smiled at Bernadette before making the sign of the cross with a rosary of ivory and gold. Bernadette fell to her knees, took out her own rosary and began to pray. Bernadette later described the women as a small young lady. Though her sister and friend claimed they were unable to see her, Bernadette knew what she saw was real. Three days later, Bernadette, her sister Maria and other girls returned to the grotto, where Bernadette immediately knelt, saying she could see Equero again. She fell into a trance and one girl threw holy water at the niche and another threw a rock that shattered on the ground. It was then that the apparition disappeared. On February 18th, Bernadette said, The vision asked her to return to the grotto each day for a fortnight. With each visit, Bernadette saw the Virgin Mary and the period of daily visions became known as the Holy Fortnight. When Bernadette began to visit the grotto, her parents were embarrassed and attempted to stop her but were unable to do so. On February 25th, Bernadette claimed to have had a life-changing vision. The vision had told her to drink off the water of the spring, to wash in it and to eat the herb that grew there as an act of penance. The next day the grotto's muddy waters had been cleared and fresh clear water flowed. On March 2nd, at the 13th of the apparitions, Bernadette told her family, the lady said a chapel should be built on a procession formed. During her 16th vision, which Bernadette claims to have experienced for over an hour, was on March 25th. Bernadette claimed she had asked the woman her name, but her question was only met with a smile. Bernadette asked again three more times and finally the woman said, I am the Immaculate Conception. Though many Downs people believed she had indeed been seeing the Holy Virgin, Bernadette's story created a division in her town. Many believed she was telling the truth, while others believed she had a mental illness and demanded she be put in a mental asylum. Some believed Bernadette's visions meant she needed to pray for penance. Bernadette steadfastly defended the genuineness of these visions despite strong opposition from her parents, the local clergy and civil authorities and she faithfully transmitted Mary's messages. Church authorities and the French government rigorously interviewed the girl and by 1862 they confirmed she spoke truth. Since Bernadette first caused the spring to produce clean water, 69 cures have been verified by the Lutz Medical Bureau and afterward the church claimed were extremely rigorous scientific and medical examinations. No one was able to explain what caused the cures. The Lutz Commission that initially examined Bernadette ran an analysis on the water but were only able to determine it contained a high mineral content. Bernadette believed it was faith and prayer 
that was responsible for curing the sick in between this to escape the public attention she became a boarder in the local school run by the sisters of charity of neve in 1866 she was granted admission to the novitiate in the mother house at neve there she completed her religious instruction and passed her remaining years in prayer and seclusion happy and loved for her kindliness holiness and wit despite almost constant sickness and pain she spent the rest of her brief life there working as an assistant in the infirmary and later as a sacristan creating beautiful embroidery for altar clothes and vestments on one incident during a severe asthma attack she asked for water from the lute spring and her symptoms subsided never to return however she did not seek healing in this way when she later contracted tuberculosis of the bone in the right knee she died in agony at the age of 35 on april 16th 1879 willingly accepting her great sufferings in faithful fulfillment of her lady's request for penance before her death bernadet had asked the local priest to build the chapel at the site of her visions and the sanctuary of our lady of lutes is now one of the major catholic pilgrimage sites in the world many other chapels and churches have been built around it including the basilica of saint pius the 10th which can accommodate 25000 people and was dedicated by the future pope john the 23rd after her death her body was first exhumed on september 2 1909 in the presence of representatives appointed by the postulators of the cause two doctors and sister of the community although the crucifix in her hand and the rosary had both oxidized her body was found to be incorrupt preserved from decomposition perhaps by supernatural means this was one of the miracles cited for support of her canonization her body was washed and reclothed before burial in a new double casket she was canonized in 1933 not so much for the content of her visions but rather for her simplicity and holiness of life she is a patron saint of sick persons and of lutes the miracles of lutes prayer of saint bernadette was let the crucifix be not only in my eyes and on my breast but in my heart o jesus we conclude with an understanding from the life story of saint bernadet that this saint is a model of holiness a model of great faith in the catholic church through the miracles of our lady of lutes our mother her body was not decomposed because god is powerful and all things are possible with god the message of our lady to saint bernadet was God is love and he loves us as we are. We pray that we may be able to love him wholeheartedly and give ourselves to him as we are to experience the love of God flowing into us. Amen. This is an initiative from the Catholic Women's Collective from the Women's Commission and the video is prepared by Resurrection Church in Diranagar. May we be blessed with a heart filled with love for others. Thank you for watching.